Hey, what is going on, ladies and the gentlemen? My name is Corbett, and I will be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play as Congo for the African Power Achievement. This is what over 600 of you uh, ended up voting for, which is massive, by the way. And if you look in the description, there are two links. The important one is actually the Discord, because there's a community game starting up soon, a quick brief multiplayer that we'll be playing before 1.30 hits. So if you're interested in that, the link is down there. But without any further ado, let's get started. Now, I've done the Congo rollout a few different times here, some more successful than others. Pretty much the plan is take everyone here. Hopefully one of these guys allies someone over here. You get a vassal, you can use said vassal to keep conquesting because we don't really have the ability to get past here, if you've noticed. So hopefully that's just how we do things. Basically, vassal, move along here, vassal, move along here, and then grab colonial ideas and go up here. I kind of spoiled the whole run for you guys, but anyways, hopefully that doesn't make it too boring to watch. Uh, but essentially, I think we should be just fine here. Now, as for our thing, we can go for... Eh, none of these are all uh, really all that good, so I think I'm going to go with Tolerance of the True Faith. That'll help with some of the unrest when I conquer things. We also start with pretty much nothing good here. And eh, well, we have a decent nobility. I'll go with the uh, call diet there. Mm, I could go all the way up to 93% for the uh, the grand generalship, which I might end up doing actually, um, because our current yeah our current army tradition is not so good. On the bright side, we did get a pretty good Afonso Yola here, so it's going to help uh, bring us some good old victories. Over here, the clergy, we can grab a few things. Boop. Boop, 72, we can give them, I think, slightly more land. But that would also hurt our production uh, pretty decent, pretty decently large ways unless we give them this, which is fine. Clergy, thank you for the admin, for some good old coring. And over here, we don't want to touch anything. It's not very useful. Unless we can hand it off to over here. Uh, we can give it to uh, Ngoyo, actually, which is not so bad. Okay, I stand corrected. Let's go over here, grab ourselves this, grab ourselves both of these things, this, and some money very good all right not bad to start off with we can put our merchant in here because we haven't touched him very much uh over here we have a couple light ships to help us do pretty much nothing because we don't do anything to the ivory coast mm, apparently we actually do collect in here interestingly enough so that that's actually a good idea collecting in there that's uh, that's not a bad idea at all we can mothball these guys i might want to go just one over the limit because why not we can boost up the speed couple of guys uh, left and right here let's look for an extra ally because first of all we have two vassals making us easily the strongest person uh, by ourselves in here but it really is the allies that uh brings it even further so i'm looking for a few alliances hopefully one kind of in the middle area here nothing too powerful even you guys might be fine because you're kind of close um and then maybe an extra ally Kind of over here. The theory goes uh, we can probably get rid of a few alliances later down, but for now they'll be a little bit useful. So, first we have our uh, little alliance over here. They'll probably send the Royal Marriage. Even with full maintenance, in fact, we should be getting rid of that in favor of um, building spy networks. I was thinking over here would be a good one, and over here probably. You're allied with Kalundwe, who is. Over here. Okay, not so bad. I don't even think he can reach, which is good for us. Ooh, local goods produced right off the bat there? That's not so good. Mm, not so good for us. And yearly corruption. Well, what kind of things are going on in this game so far? Yearly legitimacy, that's good, but a few extra things that kind of suck. Okay, then. Oh, there we go. That's our uh, royal marriage there. We have a queen. Do we have an heir? We do. He's not the greatest... A 162. He's really good at diplomacy, but pretty much nothing else, which kind of does suck a little bit. Let's offer an alliance over here and try and be better friends with people. There's an off chance that, uh, I think we're, yeah, we're fabricating over here. Who's their friend? Not Kasenje, which is good. Um, their friends are Kikonja, I can see right here. Chokwe and Kalundwe. Kikonja, Kalundwe. Chokwe, is that down here? Yes, it is. Okay. Hmm, let's try and grab ourselves a few few things here and there. I think we have one here, right? Yep. And Cuba over here. You can go and grab another claim on as well. Uh, mission fulfilled to grab that real quick. A little bit of maintenance at the beginning is quite nice. We can also get ourselves 
Ooh, I don't like the discipline, but the fort defense might be okay on the capital. Hmm, the discipline doesn't help very much at the beginning. We all have tech too, so our discipline's garbage. Um, let's go with fort defense. They might be a little bit useful. Also might want to immediately go for focus on military so we can get the upper hand to start off with. As soon as possible, getting that military upper hand is always a good idea. Um, you're my vassal, so that's fine. We can quarantine the port. Really unlucky to be getting this many things at the beginning of the game. But there's nothing you can really do about that, so I guess it's just uh, how things are. We can also have no rivals because we're way too powerful in Central Africa here. Right, so the plan, pretty much, uh, as I've already described, it's going to have to evolve a little bit here, depending on uh, what these alliances look like. Now we're fabricating on you, and you're... Ooh, that's really awkward. You're friends with my only ally. Hmm, that's one way to defend yourself. Up here, you're friends with uh, Lunda and Luba. Lunda here, which connects up here, and Luba, which is actually one of my other allies. Wonderful, okay, we're off to a good start here, then. I don't suppose a war against you would really be that good of an idea. Let me get the claims first. One right here, one right here. Um, at the top, this is probably not going to be a thing. Tio, yeah, let's get rid of that one. I'm interested to see how this would look, because we could bring in Kasenje, but that would bring in quite a few people. Chokwe, to start off with Kikonja to be second there. Kalundwe right about here. Hold on a second. Do can you guys even reach across here? Only if Lunda ends up giving them access, but they don't like Chokwe or Kikonja, so they won't give it to them. Kalundwe's maybe. Hmm. Might be worth a try. Bring in Kasenje here. You wouldn't help because, well, of course not. Um, so that would be my 15, plus the extra 6, a so 21, plus whatever Kasenje is, which is 5, so around... Uh, not, not not really that much, to be honest with you. But hey, we can give it a shot. I think it might be a good idea to give it a shot of some sort. So bring up the maintenances. Um, Yaka is, of course, the person to fight. Unless Cuba ends up breaking an alliance or something ends up happening here, I'm not really sure. Uh, we could also end up getting an alliance here and bringing them in against Yaka. That's true. Let's give that a shot, actually. Because if we wanted to go to war here, we could bring in both of them, promise them land, give them nothing, you know, just the usual betrayals. That's, uh, that might be a good idea, actually. So let me also set my, um, subjects over here. Set them to, see, uh, Citra Supportive. Probably Supportive. And we'll start off here by, um... Hmm... I'm afraid Cuba's immediately going to go for uh, Kumbana here, but we might have to take that risk. I mean, it, we might be able to bring them in later on, based off of land. But if I already occupy it, then we have problems, right? So, I suppose after doing that, you... Oh, you would join, actually. Interesting. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. I'm okay with taking just this, because it, you know, gives us access over here. So even though I'm calling them in as an ally, what I can do is just declare war up here um, as well. And just get rid of that. So a few things I can do here. One, because I'm at war and Cassandre's on my side, I can just declare war over here. And I have an easy time. I can also go over here, which is really nice. Okay. Her leader has no siege anyway. So the most I'm really willing to do is actually... Go to our vassals and put them on siege. They might come and help, and then I can move some more troops over. Which would be nice. Um, can I catch anyone in the vicinity? Not really, no. We're fighting a total of 20,000 guys, and we have many more than that. Of course, I'm also over here, so that works out. Let's just try and see where they're going to go. I think they're collecting all the men right now. Like, pretty much the entire army, they're collecting. Uh, it's a 4v5, pretty much. It all depends on where they're gonna want to go. Um, all I need is the capital, of course, so it's nothing really that bad. I'll also put on some good conquest music for now. Because why not? Uh, ooh. We're caught over here, but 
Fortunately, it's also a fort. I mean, we do have the advantage on it. Um, if you guys come in as well, easy victory. Uh, we stay here, they're locked in. Give it a quick second, and... Come on, speed four. There we go. It's another good old victory. Stack wipe even, okay. That's pretty, that's pretty extra, actually. Pretty nice. They're definitely going to try and come over here, so we're just going to try and protect that real quick. While also sieging a little bit. Now, the unfortunate part about this first war here is we can only really take these two provinces. Everything else is just sort of not going to happen. Which does suck a little bit, but... We'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, ooh, inflation for admin. That would definitely be good to counteract that uh, event we got earlier. So we'll bring these guys together, and we'll just go and chase after you, I guess. Don't know where you plan on going, but... Oh, my queen died as well. That kind of sucks. Let's see where you're going. So this is the grasslands. I don't... I don't think I get a river crossing here. This is in Pemba. This is in Bamba. Okay, very, very different names. Um, so over here we can go without any river crossing. In theory. So yo. Um, in theory I shouldn't get a river crossing. Oh yeah, okay, there's none. That's what I thought. Just had to make sure. Okay, and then we can go back to our usual, uh... Our usual progress over here. Looks like they're doing some good jobs over here. Um, this is fine. Lunda, I'm sure, will be... Oh, we're not even at war. Never mind. So, um... Hmm. I can't really take these. I could make more vassals, but more vassals wouldn't really help me right now. I'm just looking to take some stuff, so... I suppose defending while all of my vassals and whatnot start sieging is the better option. Oh, you poor soul. You think you have a chance of surviving there. Not a single chance. We'll go and get rid of these guys. This is actually one of my better openings I think I've had so far. Um, in terms of, you know, how much manpower I've wasted in the first war. Usually I like to rush down all of Central Africa as soon as I can, so... You know, the sooner we get that done, the better pretty much. Uh, over here we have Kalundwe... No, Chokwe, over here. It's been sieged down. We can't do anything with it except we can get rid of stuff. And we can get me a little bit of... You know, just a little bit of uh, prestige here, which is nice. So we'll get them out of here. Next we have Kalundwe, which we'll have to wait a few days for. Um, who's this on again? Yaka, okay. I don't need that then. Over here, this is on these guys, so I can get an extra claim right here, which is nice. So for Kalundwe, we could give them that, but... It doesn't actually work the way it's intended, so we're just not going to do anything about that. Instead, we're going to go with the two alliances, the rival. Um, that's really all we can do, huh? I mean, unless we get rid of this and some of this, we can get even more prestige. Which might be worth it, really. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. All that's left is the one guy over here. And there we go. It's done. Kikonja. I don't really want, like, the lengthiest truces with all these guys, except, you know, as I say that, I take all the stuff in the world. Anyways, that's done. I don't need it. And then, in the end, we can take this stuff, and no one's upset, because guess what? There are no more allies, and I have, like, all, all of the war score. So it just sort of works out like that. I don't know. Cool. So we'll grab these two. We'll, uh, decrease that music a little bit. They're kind of loud. Bring the boys back home. Um, yep. Let's go right back home. Over here, you're friends with Tio, which is good, because I'm about to go and uh, do some killing real quick. So it'll bring in Kasenje, immediately betray my ally, like the great person I am. Um, as well as getting this one extra claim, so we'll get rid of this. We'll go and start a spy network in here. Move these guys over here, and start this war. Uh, very easy. Royal marriage from Cuba. Ooh, that's kind of awkward, because I don't really want to be friends with you anymore. Hmm. Depends on how the rest of Africa is looking, because people are at war with each other, tags are going to start disappearing. So, it's not really on any of my business. These guys are also ones... Hmm, that's not what I wanted to do at all. 
Give me a second. I want to do uh, I want to do this whole thing. These guys will leave, meaning these guys will come in since they're on siege and they'll help out. So we'll take these three things here. We don't have claims, which kind of sucks. I wasn't building the spy network like I should have been. Um, speaking of spy network, I should definitely build one in here as well, and probably one in here because I'm still the the leader. So should probably do something like that. Uh, ooh, you guys don't like me very much. That's fine because I don't plan to be long-term friends. Do you plan to go in there? You do. I don't know how well it's going to work out for you, though, Chief. Yeah, I don't know. We kind of had this whole thing planned from the beginning. So we can go take you out. And there you go. Full stack wipe. The boys are on the case doing some good old uh, sieging. These guys should regain their manpower in due time. Well, due time is quite a little while, really. So long, in fact. Oh, after this battle, of course. Um... We'll go over here and get rid of these guys. They shouldn't be able to cross the fort. Well, they might. I was able to cross this one for some reason. I don't know why. Fort mechanics are fun mechanics. I don't really know what's uh, what's up with all those, but... If it works, it works. And if it doesn't affect me in a bad way, then I'm having a good time. Um, I also don't think I need these guys here anymore. So let's get rid of that attrition. Um, same with all these guys. I could have hit a button for that. I don't know why I didn't. Anyways, so far so good. The manpower is not looking great, but it's not the worst thing ever, and mercenaries are always an option, of course. I don't care if Cuba hates me or whatever. There we go. Lion's partner's gone anyway. That's fine. We have a truce for about five years on that, which is a little bit fast, but it's also not the worst thing ever. I mean, it's a little bit slow. That's what I meant to say. Um, this is the claims. Yeah, this is on... Kasenje, so I can't actually do much about that. For now, we wait on speed 5 while we plot our other conquests. Because although we took one thing, we still have many things left to do in this world. Um, I think we also have to bring you over here. And we can check on the timer, which is doing pretty well, actually. Okay, we're doing a solid speed. Doing pretty well. That's all nice and good. Uh, more states. Well, not really. They're okay states. Actually, they're kind of garbage states, but let's not tell them that. Uh, okay, nice. We're done over here. Uh, we can get rid of this, obviously. We can get rid of the one in Teo. Wait three days. Um, over here, of course. Boop, boop, boop. Full annex, gone. And over here, same thing. Okay, first two conquests done. Uh, next, we also have the claims over here to grab. Now, you're friends with a couple of people. First of all, Cuba. Second of all, Kasembe. Um, Cuba's still on guard over here, which makes sense. Mm, Shockwe, we do have the truce with for a little while. And who are you friends with? Kalundwe and Lunda. And you? Oh, yes, you're friends with Rwanda. Fantastic. That's going to be a free vassal. Um, I'm also interested to see if anyone over here moved over. Is Buganda? I mean, are you friends with anyone I know of? Nakua, Lundu, uh, Mutapa is friends with. Who I'm a little bit, a little bit upset at the the fact that there's no one here who's friends with anyone here. Sometimes this happens, and then you get really good stuff. Um, like over here, you know, being allied with Rwanda is fantastic. It's a free vassal and free conquest of the, uh, the great. Uh, what is these? The lakes over here. I keep forgetting what they're called because I, I have absolutely. No literacy in, in ge geography or whatever, so. Anyways. Okay, so when we size up the alliance here, we have Kazembe, Cuba. Cuba with the 6,000, you have 7,000, of course. And Kazembe is actually looking pretty large. Um, Kazembe with 8,000, okay. Okay, okay. Interesting. Now, this wouldn't work out very well. This would be okay. This is not going to work out super long. Or super well, sorry. Uh, this is a truce. This is not a truce, actually, which is good. Oh, yeah, you're also allied with me. I kind of forgot about that. Um, mm hmm. Okay. 
Well, let's see what we're doing here. We don't have the best manpower in the world. We might want to sit back for a second and see if another war develops here. Um, and at the very least, we want to, of course, get our... Um, probably get all of our money and manpower back. Well, money's fine, but the manpower especially. If we do get, get like, say, you know, Tech 3, the 0 0.5 land morale is so massive. It's literally... Well, I mean, double what it would be right now, of course, but... Um, it's so massive, it might actually allow us to win wars. We'll see. Uh, national unrest would be pretty good. Do I have much unrest? Not really, but decreasing that would be even better, actually. Because then I don't have to raise autonomy, I don't have to worry about anything, and it's fantastic. Uh, Ndongo is... Right here, actually. You're my vassal, so that's absolutely fine. A new queen works out for me. The renaissance started, which means we'll have to take that ourselves at some point. Oh, now it's just Kazimba in Cuba, or maybe it already was. Probably was, to be honest with you. So three years until this uh, Cuba truce is done, if we want to declare on them, but that wouldn't be in our best interest. I'd say we'll give it a few months, at least until we're done coring these, and then we'll move on. Uh, the cores do create much unrest. Yeah, about 1.1. The war exhaustion is also pretty decently high up there, so. Uh, we also don't have feudalism, which kind of sucks. I could start developing feudalism right now, actually. I don't really know who uh, knows feudalism. Over here, Killua knows about feudalism. So if there's, like, a great time to be moving in over here, it'd be right now. But I don't really know who's friends with anyone over here. Usoga, Nkore... Burundi. I mean, all of these guys are really just friends with each other over here. Which is the worst case scenario, really. No, well, I mean... No, yeah, there's nothing nothing too fantastic here that we can do. Kind of sucks. Uh, that means we probably will have to touch on feudalism ourselves. A little bit unfortunate, but we can go ahead and get started with that, I think. Uh, if we increase our development by a pretty, pretty substantial amount again, then we should be fine. To start off with, that is a total of, uh, probably around 30, I'd say. Maybe. So if we can go up by 20 more, that would work for us, because then we can get the bonus and save ourselves a couple of points while also grabbing some land. Oh, you've changed allies. Wonderful. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, fantastic. Uh, what else do we need here? Nothing really. I think we're pretty, pretty good to go. Uh, just having Lunda and, uh, Cuba here. You didn't change anything, which sucks. Um, you didn't change anything, which also sucks. I kind of want to have a war with you, but, like, just get rid of your allies and see if you go over here. That would really work out for me, to be honest with you. Ooh, Cassange, local unrest. I think this is the better option. Getting the minus five in there. Okay, well, the men are back and ready for more conquests, which is fantastic. I'll grab the extra claim. I'll send the spy network over here. Everything is good to go, except I kind of need to go in for the first attack here. I'll definitely be taking uh, Impasto here because it's much easier to grab. Uh, ooh, you're moving over. You're locked in, though, at least. I know I was always going to get the uh, minus modifier here. But all I need is a swift victory, a very quick stack wipe, and we're good to go. We'll send uh, the 1k over here. These guys should move in for a little bit of uh, sieging, which is great. Cuba's all that's left in the whole uh, sieging department. So all we really need to do is, I think, leave this guy here, uh, move across into here. I think we'll stop for a brief second to drop off one troop. Oh, hold on. There we go. And uh, I think we can just go immediately for them afterwards, because I don't think they're going to build any more troops. The AI doesn't like to go over force limit, so very easy to predict here. And since you're not going to build any more force limit, we're going to go around and just grab you on the edge here. Go for it in Goyo and just, uh, oh, oh, you're moving around real quick. Let's see where you do go. Very finicky AI. There we go. Going over here. We got the reinforced tick as well. Well, you got attrition. Stack white, please? No, not quite. Next one, though. 
Well, not sure. There will be that monthly morale tick. Eh, never mind, I lied. Easy win. Now these guys are over here in the right position to, uh, obviously, go and block that off. I'd feel bad if they managed to get one troop here. So I just won't let it happen. Move you guys over here. And just a little bit of extra. Drop off one guy, move him back. And we should be good to go. That should be the, uh, the full siege that we need over here for some free land. Yeah, I think feudalism will have to go with ourselves. I don't think it's a, like a reasonable amount of time that we can get over here and grab what we need. That's my timer, by the way. So, we'll just finish this war today. It shouldn't take very long to finish off. And uh, we'll have to move on a little bit later. Ooh, manpower? Yes, please. I would love manpower. I would also love this, but seeing as I don't think anyone else has grabbed it, I don't think it makes a big difference. I'd much rather grab feudalism, to be honest with you. Um, of course, we'll also move this guy over here, because they're having a bit of trouble over there. Ah, that sucks. They're probably out of manpower. Now, it looks like they're going over to help out, though. Okay, wonderful. That means we can save ourselves a bit of attrition. In fact, I can even go like this, save ourselves a bit of money. And hit these buttons, move them over. And very briefly here, uh, we'll just finish this siege. We'll probably look towards our next conquest as well. Um, so over here, you're allied with one person, which happens to be him, which is fine. So we'll start the spy network here. We'll start it over here, just to uh, make sure we have the conquest prepared for the next episode. 14%, uh, come on boys, 28%, not bad. Come on, 42. I know you want peace, but I'm sorry, that's just not, a, not an option right now. Come on. I know you can do it. In theory, if we get rid of all the possible allies over here, they'll have to ally someone over here, and if not, then I'll just, like, go into here, take all this, and then I'll force them. I'll, I'll definitely be patient with this. I'll wait for them to ally someone over here, because they will do it, given enough time. I'm not gonna, you know, ruin our strategic run here with anything rash, so... Over here, Cuma, free annexation. People are a little bit upset now, but not upset enough to do anything about it. Which is the best part. We also grabbed ourselves Expand Congo, so we can, well, I guess Expand Congo. Over here, grab these things and be done. Um, that's fine. Have a couple more of these things here, which is great. To develop, it's 53, it's a little bit expensive. But if we are to do anything, it'll have to be tomorrow, probably. I think we're pretty much out of time for today. These people are upset, but that'll be fine. Okay, well, hopefully you did enjoy the pilot episode of the African Power Achievement Run as Congo here. Hopefully you'll come back for the next episode. Hopefully you'll join me. This is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I would like to give a massive shout-out to the following amazing patrons. In the $1 tier, we have Quiet Guy, Quigersol, Rising Runner, and Dylan M. In the $5 tier, we have Mezzed Max. And in the $20 tier, we have Chewy Shoot. You guys are doing an amazing job helping me to move this channel forward, and I cannot possibly thank you enough.